All right, coming on in the inside here, we've got the area where it's gonna be mounted. I've got the plate that comes with the unit, just RTV to the floor, drilled all those holes, little pass through for the fuel line, put a little high sand paint around all the holes. Should be good to go. A little tip here with these Chinese diesel heaters, the gasket that goes between the unit and uh, that plate, it puts off a bit of a stink. You can see on the exhaust side that bit of discoloring, kind of like rotten, I don't know, rotten, smoky burnouts kind of deal. So I've used a silicone bakeware here and uh, made my own gasket. Hopefully that doesn't stink as bad. But uh, once I get it popped in there and bolted down, I'll show you how it looks in that spot. This is a Beaver 5 kilowatt. Not a sponsor. Got the fuel tank in there temporary. This exhaust. Got her all painted up black with the uh, header paint. Okay. Looking to delete the rear heat on a 05 Astro van here. We're looking at the passenger side of the engine bay, at the six port heater valve. All right, so I've got it wrestled out here. You can kind of get a better idea. So these are the heater core, front heater core. Engine, engine, rear heat, rear heat. So this would be the vacuum actuator that opens up and lets it in there. You can see that vacuum line is not in good shape. So we're going to swap out all that for this. So you can see here we keep the two front heater core ports. These two here, engine, 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 engine. So that's where that thing lives, right in there off of uh, this hole here in this bracket and then up over here is where that uh, rear heat vacuum actuator bolts in. So now we're going to swap that for that which is a lot simpler piece and that uh, should eliminate a few potential coolant leaks. And uh, oh, just to mention, the, a lot of these hoses, barely anything came out at all. I've got it clamped off pretty good here, but even those rear heat ones I didn't put clamps on. Not much has come out, so either they're dry, well, no, they look full. So we'll have to see. Okay, so next step here, I'm just going to mount in our new valve with the two bolts. One down there, I'll get started, slip her in, start putting on hoses. Got the unit here, you can see it's just a heater core, two ports through the floor, a fan. There's one of the mounting bolts there. Ended up having to cut them all, two in front of the fan, one in the back there. 